Hey guys, so in this video, we are gonna cover an aiming system. Now, the biggest thing with the aiming system, um, I always ask I always ask pretty much anybody better than me, hey, hey, what, what aiming system do you use? Um, and usually the answer is, I don't use an aiming system. And um, I personally do use one, we're not gonna be covering the one that I use, it's a little bit, it's a little bit tricky to understand the one I use. Um, kind of a variation on CTE. Um, but I think this is a good thing for um, beginning intermediate players to really line themselves up. Now, there's a couple of benefits to using an aiming system. Um, one, it teaches you kind of how the balls should look um, when, you're, when you're down on your shot. And this particular one is, is exactly like this. We're gonna be actually be aiming different parts of our shaft at the cue ball to pocket um, this ball. Um, but the other thing, the, the biggest reason why I encourage beginning intermediate players to try to learn an aiming system is because it, it kind of forces a pre-shot routine, which I think a lot of people miss out on that opportunity by not doing an aiming system. Um, and we're going to cover that, that whole entire routine that you can do before you shoot the shot. So this way you build consistency into your game. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so here's basically the basic uh, exercise or drill, I guess you can say, that we're gonna use. And so basically, we're just gonna practice different angles with uh, this, this aiming system, okay? Um, before we get started, I just wanna apologize. I know I've been, it's probably been like a month since I've created a video. I've been so busy getting my, my own business up and running, uh, my music business, and so that's been taking up a lot of my time. I'm gonna try to get in here more consistently and continue making videos. Um, so. With that being said, um, thank you for being here and watching. And, and again, I'm gonna try my best to get more videos out for you guys, okay? Um, so here we go. Um, so this is basically, the aiming system that we're gonna learn right now is, is kind of, um, I guess along the lines of Shane Van Boning's shaft aiming system, okay? Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna kind of take a look at it. I have the GoPro on so you can see it here, okay? We're just gonna talk about different different angle types. These aren't, um, you know, these aren't perfect angles. This is not like 15, 30, 45 or anything like that. These are just randomly placed <laughs> dots pretty close to the same distance apart. And we're gonna take a look at it through the GoPro and how I line up too. Okay, so first things first, um, for, for pretty pretty thin angles, um, like the seven ball, the seven ball's almost straight in. Okay, it's a little bit of a back cut to the right. Almost straight in, all we're gonna do is we're gonna line up our, our seven ball to the center of the pocket. Okay, and what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna take the center of our shaft and we're gonna aim through the center of the cue ball and we're gonna aim at the contact point. So anything that's really, really thin, I'd say less than, it has to be definitely less than 10 degrees. And, and you know, this isn't perfect. And so all these, all these degrees I'm giving you, you're just gonna have to practice it on your own and learn where, where that degree switch is for your, your stroke, your, your shaft, your everything. You know, I'm using an 11 eight. Some people may be using something a little bit thinner. Some people may be using something a little bit fatter. Um, it, it's, it's gonna have to be calibrated to the equipment that you have, the stroke that you use, okay? So again, a little bit less than 10 degrees, center ball, center cue ball to contact point with this aiming with the center of your shaft, okay? And so what I do here is, I'm gonna use open bridge so you see it better, but I'm gonna line up. And now, you're gonna get your contact point, you're gonna see the center of the cue ball, since we're using the center of the cue ball, we're gonna see that line right at the, that contact point. We're gonna jump, we're gonna drop down into our shot, okay? And what I like to do is I don't like to take any practice swings, um, <laughs> swings, practice strokes, until I see that line is in line. And then from there you can do your practice strokes how you'd like, okay? And shoot. And it should go right into the heart of the pocket, at least right where you mean. Okay, let's do that again. Okay. Again, this has the, the thing again about, about aiming systems. It has the pre-shot routine built in, okay? We're gonna get our contact point. And you notice not that much of an angle, so we're gonna get our contact point. We're gonna stand behind the ball See, visualize the line, the center cue ball to that contact point, drop into our shot, freeze, make sure everything's in line, make sure it's center cue ball, and then you're, you're aimed right at that contact point, take a couple practice strokes, and shoot. Okay. Now, I don't know how much of, a, of an angle this is, I literally put these out, I haven't even shot a ball yet. <laughs> 
So we're gonna take a look at what this looks like even through the camera. So this isn't even, I don't even think this is 10 degrees. So we're gonna do the same thing from here. I'm gonna get a contact point, okay? We're gonna come behind. We're gonna stand up and see the line from the center of the cue ball to that contact point. We're gonna drop into our shot. We're gonna pause, make sure that we see the center shaft right at that contact point. Okay, once we're there, take a couple practice strokes. And okay. That's pretty much anything, again, under, under that 10 degree um, angle. Sorry about the ambulance, guys. Hopefully not too loud. <laughs> okay, so now we're a little bit more than 10 degrees, okay? And so what we're gonna do here, okay? And this is like uh, 15 degrees and maybe even a little bit more, what we can do. And and so what Shane Van Boney does is he has like like shades. And so like you can aim like the, yeah, he has five points, okay? And he has one that's in the middle of the, the stick, the outer edges, the two outer edges, one, two, three. And then he cuts that in, in half too. So there's five points, middle, middle of the center to edge, and then the edge and on all sides. So he has five points. We're gonna, we're gonna simplify this, okay? And just use um, center and edge. Because I've realized in, in my teaching of this to my wife that you can, you can do that. So when we have a little bit more than that 10 degrees, and it's obviously not too too steep of a cut. I'm gonna show you in the GoPro here. It's not too steep of a cut. If we're, you know, over here is where we get to our steepness, our steep cuts, right? So we're here. This one, we're just gonna take the edge of the object ball. And we're still aiming center of the shaft, center of the shaft, okay? Right at the edge of the nine ball, okay? And that's all I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna stand back, I'm gonna see that line. I'm gonna see the line from the center of my cue ball to the edge of the nine ball. Okay. I'm gonna drop into my shot. I'm gonna make sure that that's in line. Okay. Center cue ball, right at the edge of the nine ball. Take a couple practice swings, and I'm gonna shoot. Sorry, my, my, my hand's in the, the table, so that's why my hand's coming off, off line when I shoot it. I'm not adjusting. Let me do that again. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna stand back. I, I'm looking at the angle, and one of the things you always wanna do is you can always come over here and see how much angle you have, you know, from straight on to where the cue ball is. And you can see that's actually a pretty, you know, it's a, it's a good amount, okay? So I'm gonna come over here and I'll say, okay, that looks like good center to edge. I'm gonna drop into my shot, center to edge here. I'm lined up. And I'm just going to stroke straight. Okay. Now, this, this amount works for a little while, okay? So we, we have to start picking and choosing when to use it and when to not. So I'm here. I'm going to see how much of an angle I have. It's still, it's still pretty big, okay? Let's see what it looks like to me. I'm going to drop in on the shot. And I'm going to aim the center of my shaft right at the edge of the five ball. Okay. Come back, I'm gonna shoot. Center pocket of the five ball. Okay. You see that for this total amount, I mean, this is probably about 10 inches from here to here. And I just, I've only used two parts of my aiming. And the thing that's confusing about this, when I was, when I was trying to understand, like, how does this work for like these, these this wide of a range. Well, you got to remember that the ball's around. And so even though you're moving around the ball, um, it may look like you're moving further than, than it is. And so I think it's, I think it's just a little bit of an optical illusion of why, why, why can I shoot these two balls, even though they're quite a dramatic difference in angle, why can I use the same aiming concept? And I think it's just because of that optical illusion of them being, being round. Okay. So these two different angles, but I could still use center to contact point, right? These two, a little bit more angle, but still different, and I can still use center to the edge of the object ball. Now, as we get further, and I think this next one is gonna be far enough, okay? Now, this one's a little bit tricky to understand, um, and this is one that I, I, I notice is, is just hard to teach, okay? So I'm looking at my, my two ball line. There's my, okay? 
this is a really, 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 really steep angle. Okay, and so what this is going to require, okay, this is going to require that my stick be lined up through the center of the cue ball. Okay, you got to remember that. So I'm, I'm, I'm here at the center of the cue ball, but what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using one of the edges, okay, of my shaft to line up towards the edge of that two ball. Okay, and so because I'm cutting to my left, like the two ball has to make a left turn in order to do that, I'm going to use the left edge of my shaft. Okay, and again, I'm lining up through center. So important, we don't need to get necessarily get the contact point here because we have a pretty steep angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to visualize my center cue ball at the edge of the two. Okay, I'm going to drop into my line. Now, again, my cue ball, need, my cue stick needs to be center, but I'm using my sighting to line this edge of the cue stick right at the edge of the two ball. And so when I'm, when I'm using centered edge, this is kind of what my cue stick will look like. The center of the tip is at the edge, but now I'm out further. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna line up the edge of my shaft to the edge of the two. And so you can see what it's gonna look like when I'm looking down in my vision. Okay, let's go down on the shot. Let's see where I'm at. Okay, I'm here. I'm gonna do my practice strokes. And I'm gonna go straight through that shot. I'll get the ball. Okay. And let's go even steeper. Now, I will say, this aiming system does have its limits, at least from my experience. You guys hopefully will take more time to get used to it. Um, but I've seen that this has its, its limits, especially when you're like extremely, extremely thin and close. It has its limits. But something like this will still work. I'm going to line up my center cue ball to the edge of the six. I'm going to drop down into my shot. Okay, I'm going to focus on lining my body so that my cue stick is still center ball, but my edge of my shaft is running right up with the edge of that six, okay? Here I am. I'm gonna take my couple practice strokes and just go straight through. And there it is, okay? So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna throw out a couple balls and we're gonna run a rack using the system. All right guys, so I just threw out some balls. Let's run the rack using this. I'm gonna take ball in hand and we're just gonna do Okay. So always remember you always want angle. So for the most part, I'd say in terms of this aiming system, you want to try to have all of your shots use center to edge, because that's going to give you the proper amount of angle um, really to help move around with a lot of ease. Now, am I going to get there every single time? No. And so we'll, we'll adjust and I'll be talking through where to aim on the cue stick. Now, when you're using this, this is center ball, right? This is always using center cue ball, right? If you want to use any English, we're just going to use a little bit of backhand English. Now, the big thing about people using aiming systems when they start using English, typically they use too much. Um, and so you really want to just be sticking around within a cue stick, uh, a cue tip of center, and then you don't have to worry about so much deflection. A lot of people try to use too much and they have to juice it up. If I have to do that today, I will, but for the most part, you want to try to avoid using that much English. Okay, so here we are. Um, for here, I want to be fairly straight so that I can come off the rail and come here for the three in the side. I think that's the best option. Again, always thinking three balls ahead. Hope you've seen my videos enough by now to understand that. Okay, I'm going to come this way though. We're going to go this way. All right, just try to roll the cue ball forward. Well, you know, let the cue ball drift forward. Okay, so here's my here's my shot. Here's my angle. Okay, <clears throat> I'm not giving myself too much angle because I want it to roll straight. So we're going to be using center to contact. Get my contact point. Stand behind. Visualize that line. Drop into my shot. Okay. Pause for a second. Make sure that I'm in line. Take my practice strokes. <laughs> and then just let the cue ball drift forward and do this thing. I match up. All right, next shot. I'm gonna look at the angle here. So let's see how much angle I have. I'm here, okay? I think I'm a little bit more than that 10. Um, I'm really, really close. I think here, I'm gonna go ahead and use center, uh, center uh, shaft 
the contact point. It's not ultimately too bad. And because of these rails, if I, if I cheat just a little bit to this side, it's still gonna hit the titty and, and kind of go into the pocket there. Let me center the edge here. Uh, center to center to contact, I'm sorry. I'm gonna grab my contact point. So now I know. And when you grab your contact point, make sure, I know my stick's on the felt, but make sure you, you, you envision a line, I mean a spot here in the center of the cue ball. And what I do is I like to use the reflection of the two ball to, to imagine my line. So my cue stick's on the felt, but I'm actually looking at the reflection of the cue tip in the ball. And so that's how I know how to aim. Okay, so, so I visualize that line, center of my ball to that contact point. I'm just gonna be drawing it back with a little bit of right hand English to, to pull the cue ball back out this way. Okay, I'm gonna drop it in my line. Okay. Make sure I visualize that, okay? Here we go, a little bit of draw, just a touch of right hand English here. Very good. I overhit that a little bit, which I think is gonna be okay, because my, my natural line's gonna be sending me through those balls. So I'm just gonna use top English to roll through, okay? Now, as we see here, if I'm aiming at the center of the pocket, that much angle is, that's a lot of angle, okay? So what we're gonna use here is we're gonna use, since we're cutting to the left, I'm gonna use the left edge of my shaft, okay? Right at the edge of the three ball, okay? Stand behind my three ball. And again, this is the, the pre-shot routine built in. Stand behind my, my three ball, envision my center cue ball to the edge of the three ball, drop in on my shot, okay? Another trick you can do is you can pull the cue stick up high and so you can see that line better and then move it to the center if you'd like. I don't do that, I'm kind of, used to using a little bit of shaft aiming, so. Okay, I'm here in line, take my practice strokes, and we're just gonna hit this nice and easy. Let the cue ball drift up and back. All right, so now our next shot, and again, looking forward, I wanna get onto the six ball. So the last thing I wanna do is I don't wanna get straight here on the five ball. Um, there's a couple ways to go about it. I can leave the cue ball where it is and let the cue ball drift through here. I can even let it roll forward a little bit and have it come this way. Um, I can let it roll forward even more. Even if it got to here, I can come to this rail and out for the, the six ball. There's a lot of different ways to do it. I think the easiest way to avoid any kind of, um, actually I have a little bit of angle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this cue ball roll forward and get somewhere over here close to the rail. Okay, I thought, it was, I thought it was straighter than it was. Here we go. So, obviously not a lot of angle. I'm aiming my cue right at the contact point that I wanna hit. Now, you can use this to cheat the pocket too. That's a good thing about this, if you wanted to cheat the pocket. Okay, I'm not going to, I don't need to here. Okay, vision my center to the contact point. Drop in on my shot. Okay, let's see that line. Just gonna let it roll forward, here we go. Perfect for what I wanted to accomplish. I have the right angle. I'm going to come out this way and, and come in, in line this way towards the six. Okay. I'm just going to be using a little bit of outside English. Okay. So let's see here. Hopefully I'm not in the way of my own shot here. So there's my contact point. I don't have a lot of angle. Center to contact. Vision the line. Drop down. I'm going to use a touch of right hand English. So I'm going to line up that line. Okay, and I'm just gonna tilt the backhand just ever so slightly. Come right in the, the correct line with the six ball. Come out here with the seven ball, so on and so forth. Okay, if we take a look here, I actually have quite a bit of angle. Uh, I think a little bit too much to use center to edge here. So, uh, sorry, center to contact, too much for your center to contact point. So we're gonna go center to edge. I'm gonna line up the center of my cue ball to the center of the six and aiming the center of my shaft. I see that center to edge line. I'm gonna drop down into my shot. I'm gonna line it up first before I take any practice strokes. Okay, I'm in line. I just need a little bit of draw. Here we go. And perfect. Here now, see this. And again, this is a little bit too much to be using center to contact point. So, center to edge, center shaft. 
Let's see the line. I'm just gonna hit the center ball, let it just drift straight across the table. Center ball. All right. And that was perfect. Now all we need to do is just draw it back. I mean, even if it stopped where it was, it's okay. I got a good angle to make the ball without worrying about scratching, anything like that. Just want to try to draw this ball back. Okay. So now this one, just so I'm not on the rail, I can cheat the pocket a little bit. I can either cheat it this way and let it slam over, or I can just cheat the ball. So I'm hitting this ball almost straight on. I'm gonna cheat it a little bit to slam it to the rail. So I'm gonna cheat it to here. So I'm gonna get my contact point. And again, this is not very much angle, so I'm just center to contact. Right there. Get down on the shot. And so to slam it, I'm just gonna use more stun, just a little bit of left. So when it hits this rail, it backs up towards me. Okay. And you'll see, not, not very much left here. Okay, here we are. See? There's not much more I can do with it, so I'm not going to try to do too much. Okay. I'm take a look at it here. And this is this is where the part gets confusing too. You know, when when the you're, you're looking at this spot, right? You always want to make sure that you're in line with the cue ball, so you see that angle. Sometimes people use the felt, and it, it looks like it's a bigger angle than it is. So come back here towards the the nine ball is and see how much of an angle it is. And I think here, center to edge is going to pocket this ball. Center to edge with center shaft. I'm gonna visualize my center. Here I am, dropping on the shot. I'm gonna use close bridge here. I'm just gonna make sure that I'm in line. I'm not gonna take any practice strokes until I see that. Okay, here we are, practice strokes. And that is running a rack using shaft aiming. Okay? Um, I hope this video was helpful for you, and I hope you're able to implement this into the game. If you really enjoyed videos like this and you want me to do some more aiming systems, please um, leave a comment down below on which ones you want to use. And also make sure to smash that like button. Okay? It really helps the YouTube algorithm. Um, I know I've been out of um, doing these videos. I'm, again, I'm going to try to keep them up. Okay? Um, if you want to see more videos like this, please make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get alerted when I post a new video. All right, and I'll see you guys next time.